Armenia was the first country in the world that adopted Christianity as a state religion in 301 AD. Armenia is situated in the southern Caucasus bordered by Georgia, Azerbaijan, Iran and Turkey. According to the general census, the population of Armenia is 3 million, 1.1 million of which lives in Yerevan. Being located in the Caucasian mountains, Armenians are a Caucasian race speaking an Indo-European language. The official language of Armenia is Armenian. Armenia is often described as a sunny country. The climate is highland continental, dry with four seasons. Climate and temperature are usually referred to as a sunny. Yerevan is the largest and capital city of Armenia with a population of 1.1 million. The center of Yerevan is lined with many parks and fountains. The city is full of super restaurants, great cafes and many retail shops. There is cheap public transportation all over the country and Yerevan has a subway, buses and trains. As a nation, Armenians are caring, hospitable, emotional, extremely welcoming and friendly towards their family members, friends, neighbors and colleagues. So this is Yerevan, a small yet very beautiful city, calmly lying in the Caucasus, ready to amaze every visitor with its splendid and marvelous views. Food, places of interest and definitely kind and warm attitude. Since the establishment of the company in 2010, apart from the international consultancy and trading business, Campus International LSC has sent more than 1,000 students to different countries and universities' educational institutes. Campus International is an exclusive company for the traditional medical university of Armenia. The university was founded in 1991 and is recognized by MCI, WHO and FAMER. UTMA got accreditation by state on 2001. At the current moment, more than 60 Indian students are studying in the university. Hello all, my name is Neha Thomas. I am doing my first course at the University of Traditional Medicine in Armenia. And to talk about my university, uh, it is not about the infrastructure, it's not about the building where you have to go, uh, you have to choose a place to study. It is about how the university trains you to be a doctor, that is what you can see. And then you should just check if the university is capable to make you a doctor in the future. So that is how I've come to this university. Good afternoon. I am Wise Nightmare of our university, the University of Traditional Medicine. And I want to introduce the special peculiarities of our university for you. Uh, first of all, about the structure of our university, we have the three faculties. The first one it is the preparing faculty. Uh, the prolongation of the past study time in this faculty is one year. Second one, it is the general medical faculty. Six year students study in this faculty. And lastly, last one, it is the stomatological one, the dentistry faculty. The prolongation of the study process is the five years. Um, I want to say that, uh, like in all other medical universities, in our university, the study process is divided mainly into two big departments. This is the theoretical subjects, which we provided in our this building. And this is the clinical subjects, uh, which we organize in our clinical basis. Today it is the Art Med Center, Medical Center, where we have all clinical departments of our university. Good afternoon, I'm Ina Yesayan. I'm the head of the Department of Public Relations and Foreign Students. So, uh, our university is in cooperation with various international organizations uh, which uh, gives our students a chance to apply uh, for uh, education in our university from all over the world. Uh, so, our department main purpose is to uh, organize support uh, for getting uh, resident status and also we uh, take care for our students and we help them in their daily issues, uh, health, uh, legal and other issues. And we, uh, we share our support uh, to our students uh, for organizing uh, cultural, educational and other uh, uh, activities. And uh, the admission of foreign students assume the document study and uh, the assessment of knowledge. 
We have more than 120 students, foreign students in our university. More, uh, so we are doing our best to provide uh, the best education for our students, and we want to uh, create a family atmosphere in our university. So good luck to all of them. Thank you. Hi, my name is Yuvraj Singh Thakur. I'm from north of India and I am in Yerevan. My university name is UTMA, University of Traditional Medicine. So, uh, I'll tell you from the beginning, like, uh, like we are Indian and we are, when we are going to a new country, we face, uh, what you call it, a culture shock. There is a thing which is known as the culture shock and culture shock is a thing like we have to adjust to a new culture. But while, like, it, it has been, what you call, a month I have been here, and it is just like the uh, Indian culture, so we don't have to get used to their culture. It is similar as our Indian culture. And about the safety, we travel here by uh, the uh, taxi, everything. The Armenians, they are so polite, humble. The library of the university provides the students and the lecturers a necessary literature, academic books, educational methodical training appliances, monographs and research works. UTMA Library has about 6,150 copies of educational and scientific literature. Alongside with traditional library fund, the university also has electronic library. Year by year, the book reserve is increased with up-to-date publishing books and literature. The university has a computer room and internet. My name is John Milton. I am from India, in southern part of Tamil Nadu. Um, I came to know about this uh, university from my friends, a uh, friend and my uh, relatives. Uh, and then when I came to this university, this university is called as University of Traditional Medicine, Armenia. Uh, it's so nice, it's so familiar, faculties are so good, um, all, are, all are like a family. Uh, they treat us very well, uh, even the Armenians and the public, they, they take care of us. They, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if we ask some th uh, something to, uh, to them, they'll help us in a, any way. Um, so, I love this country and uh, I am so happy in learning here. Thank you. Our students stay in very comfortable hostels and there are a couple of Indian restaurants that provide Indian food. Best known is Karma restaurant with 12 years of experience and nice and cozy place to taste an Indian food. The warm colors of this welcoming Indian restaurant, located in Dalian Street in the center, make you feel instantly well. Dishes are generous and very tasty. Campus International and University of Traditional Medicine of Armenia share their support to organization events such as Student Freshers Party, Inauguration Ceremonies, Indian Festivals, to spread and share Indian culture with other nations and also to make Indian students feel that they are at home in Armenia. Hi everyone, I'm Josephine Andes from University of Traditional Medicine and I am in my first course and I'm from India, exactly from Kerala. I love Armenia, I'm, uh, my university Armenia is very good. The food here I love the most is the, the food in Armenia. The climate here we have four months uh, uh, cold and like snowfall and the rest we have uh, like India. Uh, the climate in India is similar to here and I love to be here. Thank you.